I'm Adon Gaetan with Fugro Roadwear. Today we're going to talk about the ARAN. It collects all profiles of the road, roughness, texture, elevation, grade. Uh, we also have pavement cameras that uh, take pictures of the pavement as we go across the road. We can test up to about 55 miles an hour. We also have a right-of-way camera uh, that collects uh, assets, which are uh, street signs, uh, stop signs, uh, curves, things like that. So uh, in most cases, like when you guys are driving around on these roads, you're kind of missing the potholes and things like that. Well, we actually have to hit the pothole because we're trying to get the data from it. Okay. So that line there is actually measuring the roughness of the pothole. So we're going straight through the pothole. We're hitting it at, uh, you know, if, if it's 35 miles an hour or whichever highway speed. Uh, and then we're getting roughness data from there. These are our roughness sensors here. And then we have uh, this bar here we use for our texture. Uh, we have, there's another laser in here as well too. And that's uh, for the texture of the road. So we can put two of them depending on what the DOT wants. In most cases they want the right side or the left. I mean either one. But we can put them on either side. But there's just a lot of wires and things in here for those lasers. We've got a forward camera that's picking up, uh, it's picking up the signs and it's picking up the uh, street lights. There's a forward right camera that's actually picking up information as far as your stop signs, uh, your curves, or your ditches. This uh, tells us how far the vehicle has traveled. This information also gets placed on uh, our pavement, uh, our right-of-way cameras. We'll see it in a raw form. Uh, then it has to get sent back to our office for processing. Uh, they'll process it and then send that information back over to the DOT. But we definitely do see it in a raw form. Our uh, LRMS, uh, Laser Rut Measuring System. This is what actually gives you the profile of the road. This is what's measuring your cracks and things like that. And again, we can test up to 55 miles an hour and pinpoint every crack by GPS. We've got three satellites here, yeah. uh, and you know there's up to 16 up in space that we go based off of. We've got these lasers going, so there's actually laser beams here that oh, are coming light. down. Yeah. They're actually lighting up the pavement for us because uh, we need it brighter so that we can actually check the depths of the cracks. So it's, it's actually lighting it up as we go across and the pavement cameras are taking the image of it. Without it, we wouldn't be able to get uh, the accurate depth of the crack as we travel down the road. This particular image is the forward right camera. We have, let me see, it's, like you know, I was saying earlier, taking pictures of your, um, your ditches, your um, stop signs, your um, street signs, your curves, and um, the road camera, which is the forward camera, it's doing exa exactly the same, but pictures of um, the street itself, um, street signs, um, stop signs, and then we have the pavement camera, which is showing us the um, pictures of the pavement, the ones in the back that's pointing face down, um, and all this is real time. For a land crew to come out, it usually they can usually collect about five to ten miles per day, versus us, we can collect up to about 300 miles a day. It's a lot faster, a lot safer. It takes 100 personnel from the DOT to uh, gather their inventory for the year. Uh, it could take us three months. 